My friend Cowboy Flat Stanley was in town from West Texas, and so while he was here visiting me, we decided to take a trip to the campus Starbucks because he had never had Starbucks before, and he was very excited once we got there. And so as we entered, he stood in line with a huge smile on his face. He talked to the young lady in front of him named Chelsea, and they had a great conversation about where they were from. Chelsea was from the Northwest, and so Flat Stanley told her that this was the first time he had ever visited the Northwest, and he was very excited. And in no time, Cowboy Flat Stanley was in the front of the line, and it was his turn to order. And he was very excited, but had forgotten to even look at the menu. And so with the help of the very nice baristas, Cowboy Flat Stanley chose an iced caramel macchiato as his choice of drink and he was extremely joyful and jumped in exuberance. And so while he was waiting for his drink to be made, Flat Stanley sat on the couch with Ryan and Kristen, a nice young couple that he had just met. He had a great conversation about his own wife named Jessica, and he was very excited for his drink to be made. And before he knew it, they called his name. Stanley? And he rushed to the counter and grabbed his drink. With a huge grin on his face, he took his first sip and let out a big exhale. He told me it was the best drink he had ever had. Cowboy Stanley was so excited at his caramel macchiato that he jumped up on the table and began dancing like a wild man and shaking his guns. He scared a couple of the people in there, so he had to put his guns back in their holster. But it was all alright. It was all in good fun. In the midst of his joy, he jumped into Chelsea's arms. She wasn't expecting it, but held on to him nonetheless. Next, Cowboy Stanley walked over to the other side of Starbucks to chat with some young ladies doing homework. He asked them what they thought of BSU and they responded that they really enjoyed it, and they were especially glad that there was such a convenient Starbucks location right here in the library where they liked to do their homework. And because Flat Stanley had finished all of his caramel macchiato and was full of all that sugar and caffeine, he jumped up on their table and began dancing there too. And although their expensive computers were right there, they trusted Stanley and laughed along with him. And after Flat Stanley had finished dancing, he threw away his empty cup and knew that it was his time to leave his favorite coffee restaurant. And so, before he left, he stood by and patted his friend Kristen on the shoulder and told her thank you for her company. And that's the end of our story of how I took Flat Stanley to his first trip to Starbucks here on the campus of BSU, and it was a jolly good time, and he definitely wants to go back again. Thank you.